All right, there's a big game tomorrow, tomorrow evening. Um, I, I want you to know that uh, my priest prayer group, we were down in Marco Island, Florida from last Friday to, the, to yesterday, and we were, we were all praying for the Chiefs all week, so hopefully they'll pull that off. Um, there was a Cincinnati Bengal a lady fan on our flight that had all her Cincinnati stuff on. Um, we didn't hex her. We, we said a prayer for her that she may find the red light <laughs> to the Chiefs' kingdom. All right, so good luck to the Chiefs tomorrow. Um, a few announcements. Our blood drive will be in the gym on Tuesday, January 31st. Uh, registration information is in the bulletin. We are starting our... Fat Tuesday, Mardi Gras celebration on Tuesday evenings on February 21st that will be in the gym. There are tickets for sale. You have to prepay the, t you have to buy the ticket in order to come. You cannot just show up at the door because we will be cooking fried chicken and gumbo. Okay, so $10 is all it costs and the uh, drinks will be extra. So this should be a, a lot of fun and be right before we start Ash Wednesday and Lent. Okay. The Respect Life Committee uh, will be holding a rosary for the life of Rahim Taylor on Tuesday, February 7th at 5.45 p.m. All are encouraged to learn more about Rahim's case in our bulletin and to join us for the rosary. We are going to have electrical work done in the church um, to fix our light system. Um, so due to this, we will not have mass Tuesday morning. Tuesday morning, no mass at 11. Okay, we're going to uh, take out the dimmer switches and put in a very simple system where we just turn them on and off. <laughs> and hopefully that will work. All right, this Friday is the first Friday of the month. All are invited to come spend time with Jesus at our first Friday adoration. It starts after the morning mass, so it'll start at 8.30 and we'll go to 8 p.m. that night. Knights of Columbus are in the gathering space this evening um, with information if you would like uh, to become a knight. If you're interested in learning more about the organization, please stop by their table, okay? All right, they're going to be making coffee if you want coffee tonight. If you come back tomorrow, they'll have donuts. All right, we got a birthday in the very back row. Miss Shirley, when's your birthday? What day is it? 87 years young. Happy birthday. Jane? Monday. Happy birthday. Hi, Lonnie. When's your birthday? Today. Happy birthday to you. Any others right here? Ooh, your daughter. When's your birthday? Next Saturday, happy birthday to you. Back here, Wednesday, happy birthday early. We've got a lot of birthdays. Is that it? Anniversaries? All right, so anybody at home watching online, uh, if you're celebrating your birthday or anniversary, uh, congratulations, happy birthday. Um, Mom and Dad, I know you're going to be watching. Um, be at the airport to pick me up at 9.55 tomorrow night. <gasps> yes, I'm going golfing. <gasps>
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. My brothers and sisters, in our gospel today, the people of Copperdam are astonished by Jesus' authoritative, authoritative teaching. For the times when our ears have been deaf to the precious words of Christ, let us seek our Lord's pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you have the words of everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. You are the good shepherd who calls us each by name. Christ, have mercy. In you, we find true peace and rest. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us, have mercy on us, you take away the sins of Let us pray. Grant us, Lord our God, that we may honor you with all our mind and love everyone in truth of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever.
reading from the book of the prophet Zephaniah. Seek the Lord, all, of, all you humble of the earth who have observed his law. Seek justice, seek humility. Perhaps you may be sheltered on the day of the Lord's anger. But I will leave as a remnant in your midst a people humble and lowly who shall take refuge in the name of the Lord, the remnant of Israel. They shall do no wrong and speak no lies, nor shall they be found in their mouths a deceitful tongue. They shall, they shall pasture and couch their flocks with none to disturb them. The word of the Lord. Preserves fidelity forever, who does justice to those who are oppressed. It is he who gives bread to the hungry, the Lord who sets prisoners free. Blessed the poor in spirit, the king. up those who are bowed down. It is the Lord who loves the just, the Lord who protects the stranger. Blessed the poor in spirit, the kingdom of heaven is theirs. The Lord upholds the orphan but thwarts the path of the wicked. The Lord will reign forever, the God of Zion from age to age. Alleluia. Blessed the poor in spirit, the King. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Consider your own calling, brothers and sisters. Not many of you were wise by human standards. Not many were powerful. Not many were of noble birth. Rather, God chose the foolish of the world to shame the wise. And God chose the weak of the world to shame the strong. And God chose the lowly and despised of the world, those who count for nothing, to reduce to nothing those who are something, so that no human being might boast before God. 
It is due to him that you are in Christ Jesus, who became for us wisdom from God, as well as righteousness, sanctification, and redemption, so that, as it is written, whoever boasts should boast in the Lord. The word of the Lord. Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Lord, when Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. So today we are hearing the Beatitudes when Jesus went up the mountain and taught all those who were seeking his attention um, how to be blessed. And, and he's basically reaffirming everything that they're experiencing because it's not the rich, it's not the wealthy, it's not um, everybody whose life is going perfect. Those aren't the people that are following and seeking out Jesus. It's the people who are sick the people who are poor, the people who have lost a spouse. It is all those who are suffering that are out there seeking the Lord's attention. They're wanting wholeness. They're wanting health. They're wanting to see what Jesus can do. And so Jesus is telling them that they are blessed and that Jesus is blessing them and God is blessing them. To be blessed is to be made holy. And it's not because they deserve it. It's because he freely chooses to bless them. And he truly, truly chooses to bless all of us too. It's not that we deserve it either. But we are blessed when we do what he has taught us to do. When we are merciful towards others. When we are humble. When we are kind. It doesn't mean that we're going to be rewarded with all kinds of wonderful things here on earth. He says, rejoice and be glad because your reward will be great in heaven. 
we kind of get that confused and we want it to be our reward will be great here on earth. And that's where we kind of lose our way. And so we have to think about what is it that blesses us, that makes us holy? What is it that makes us consecrated to God? It's when we act and do what Christ did here on earth. When we forgive one another, when we love one another, when we help one another, when our friends or family are suffering, when we're there for one another. And we don't do it so that God will reward us here on earth. We do it because it's the right thing to do. We do it because it feels good when we do it. When we do kind things for others, it actually starts to change how we view this world and how we view one another. But it takes actual actions of doing it. And the more we do it, the easier it becomes. It doesn't mean life's going to be wonderful here on earth. It doesn't mean that we're going to not suffer anymore. It doesn't mean that you know, we're not going to get our feelings hurt. But it won't hurt quite as much when we do it together as a community. So think about, you know, last week, you know, you had a visiting priest here. And, you know, somebody before Mass said, you know, uh, Father, you know, it's good you're back. That priest talked a long time. And I said, yes, and if I never had a priest come and talk for a long time, you wouldn't appreciate the fact that my homilies are a lot shorter. <laughs> so that is how I seek to be humble and kind and bless all of you. <laughs> so think about what is it that you can do in your average daily week in order to be a little bit more like Christ, in order to understand that Christ is abundantly blessing each and every one of you, doesn't mean he's going to give you the winning lottery numbers. Doesn't mean that everybody's going to get well. It doesn't mean that your human wishes will be granted. But what it does mean is that you will live on for eternal life forever. That is when we have ultimate peace. That is when we have ultimate love. And so here on earth during our time, we get glimpses of that. So search for some of those. And when you get those glimpses, appreciate them. And it does affect each and every one of us in different ways. So give thanks to God for all that we go through good and bad, because it's preparing us for heaven. Together, let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of all and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us, for our salvation, he came down from heaven and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, 
the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. Let us intercede for our own needs and the needs of all in the name of Jesus of Nazareth, the Holy One of God. For all who proclaim and teach the word of God in truth and humility, may they preach the gospel and draw others to Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who exercise authority, that they may use their authority as Jesus did, to free people, to heal the sick, and to build up the community. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the candidates and catechumens, that they may experience a spiritual liberation from all that might deter them from following Jesus of Nazareth, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have mental and emotional illness, that God's love will strengthen, heal, and sustain them, and help us to accompany them along life's journey, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all gathered here, may we be freed from all anxieties and distractions that keep us from living joyfully in God's presence, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Doris DeShane, May they be led into the presence of the Holy One of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of salvation, you sent your Son to walk among us and teach us with authority about your ways. Hear our prayers that we might heed his voice and be fashioned into a people after your own heart. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Treasure. 
Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O oh Lord, we bring to your altar these offerings of our service. Be pleased to receive them, we pray, and transform them into the sacrament of our redemption through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for in you we live and move and have our being. And while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care, but even now possess the pledge of life eternal. For having received the first fruits of the Spirit through whom you raised up Jesus from the dead, we hope for an everlasting share in the Paschal mystery. And so with all the angels, we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, James, our Bishop, the clergy, and all your children. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 
At our Savior's command and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, with, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer to each other a sign of Christ's peace. Peace, 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 peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should be into my love, but, but only say the word of my soul shall be healed. We sing together number 696, Ubi Caritas, number 696.
Let us pray. Nourished by these redeeming gifts, we pray, O Lord, that through this help to eternal salvation, true faith may ever increase through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We go in peace to love and serve our Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. We depart singing number 810, Let Justice Roll Like a River, number 810. Let justice roll. She. <laughs> 